Hey, look at this cute boy. Got your nice tie on. Oh, you got a flower. <laughs> look at this boy. Whoa. What are you doing? <laughs> concert with us um, with my whole family and I was waiting for him to get off work so that he could come up he was in Payson so he's like 45 minutes from us yep. and um, he had been texting me you know oh it's such a long day I can't wait to leave work blah 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 and then all of a sudden as me and my sister were getting ready no actually we had we were already at the park so we were ready and we were sitting on a blanket at the park listening to some music and I got a text message from his mom I'd only met her like one time such a sweet, cute lady, and so had no reason not to believe her. But she sends me a text and she said, Cody's had an accident at work. He's headed to the emergency room right now. I think it's pretty serious. Yes. Oh! Guys, I panicked, like panicked. And so I texted her, oh my gosh, what happened? And she said he was using a saw and he got some of his fingers. It's like super vague. So in my head, I'm like, did he just cut off every single one of his fingers? Like, did he get one? Like, what happened? Are they completely gone? Like, what is going on? So I instantly start crying because I was so worried about it. See, I love you. So I start crying and I'm like, I have to go. I have to go right now. I need to go see him. And my mom was like, okay, well, you are way too upset to drive. So Shelby and Steve are going to drive you. It's my sister and brother-in-law. And um, so me, Shelby, and Steve jump in a car get on the freeway and we're going to Payson and the whole time I'm just scared to death 45 minutes thinking that my boyfriend just cut his fingers off at work <laughs> and I, I was so stressed and so sad for him and of course my brother-in-law had to keep making comments like well Ken just think it'd kind of be cool to be married to someone with nubs like <laughs> what who says that like yeah if you have them that's awesome but like who says that you know yeah. so he was just teasing me. They knew the whole time that it was what was going on, but I had no clue. So they drive me to the hospital. I go running into the emergency room and say, I'm here to see my boyfriend. And she's like, okay, what's his name? And I said, Cody Moffin. And she said, oh yeah, he's in room six right here with the hand injury. Okay, super legit. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I seriously, I think I was kind of in shock. Like I was kind of panicked a little bit. Yeah. And so I go walking in this emergency room and he's laying on the bed. He's got a gown on. There's blood. He's got cords coming off of him. Bloody rag on his hand, just sitting here holding a bloody like towel on his hand. And so I just walked in like, I didn't even know what to do or say. Like, how do you react in a situation like that? Mind you, we had only known each other 10 weeks, like two and a half months since the day we met. So I don't know. I didn't know how to react or what to do. So I was just stressed out, looking at him, feeling sorry for him. And he looks at me and he says, do you want to see it? And I said, no. Like, normally I would like that kind of stuff, but it was him. And I was like, no, I don't want to see it. And his little sister, Audrey, said, well, I want to see it. So he moved the towel and he was holding the ring box with the ring. <laughs> Stinker. So it was just fun. Then he got down on his knee and proposed and everything, but I had no idea how to feel because I was so excited. I knew a proposal was coming. We had obviously talked about it, but I was so excited. And then I was so relieved that his hand was okay. But then I was so mad that he made me think that he hurt himself so bad and I had to stress about it for such a long time. Yeah, so my side of the story. Oh, stinker. So I talked to her dad like two weeks before this. She had no idea. Her dad was super good at convincing her that, you know, he's got to talk to me before he can propose. So she thought I didn't even talk to him yet. I got her whole family in on it. I talked to her sisters, her brothers, just so they know, like, exactly how it was going to go. I had this idea since I was probably in second grade. 
Legitimately. Yeah. <laughs> my, my teacher, for some reason, I think she was engaged or something, but she had us all create a way to um, propose. propose to somebody, and, it, and the most creative way got a prize. I won the prize. Um, but I decided that I wanted to pretend like I got my hand cut off or broken or something and have her and propose in the hospital. So that's exactly what we did. Uh, we both wanted to be heart surgeons at the time, and that's kind of how we met. And so I thought it was fitting as well to propose in a hospital, <laughs> since that kind of that's kind of what we both wanted to go into. But um, that didn't work out. But <laughs> um, so the I was working as an electrician's helper at the time, and so I was very like outside in the houses and construction stuff. I'll show a picture. But, um, yeah, so I, I kept texting her, like, weeks before, like, oh, I cut my finger, no big deal, I got slivers, you know, just kind of emphasizing all the little things that I got, so she wouldn't be, like, super surprised that I got hurt, but yeah, enough. Yeah, like, what is this job? You're killing yeah. yourself. <laughs> so I, I told my mom, like, to, what to text her, so, like, it would be enough to get her to come down to, from Draper to Payson, but not enough that she would, like, die? That I, I don't know. I actually had, had a picture. Had to be serious, but not too serious. <laughs> I had a picture that if she didn't believe me, that I was going to send to her, and I'll show that here, if it's not too gory. <laughs> so I had my mom text her, and I luckily went to the, the hospital and just asked the front desk, um, do you happen to have a spare room I could use? And it was like a Friday night, like, it could have been, like, super busy, but... Well, they said it was their busiest night, usually. Yeah, it usually was, but I got super lucky, and they had, a like, no rooms being occupied, so they're like, yeah, come on in, they're super into it, like, got me all dressed up. I wasn't expecting, like, super over the top, but, like... Oh, they loved it. The they loved it. They were making it. bets, like... Oh, he's, there, she's gonna say no. This is horrible. I have interrupters. Interrupters. Sorry. <laughs> kids these days. <laughs> these kids are low. <laughs> this one's being nice. The other three are just being loud. See that? Yep. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? The nurses got super oh, yeah. into it. With the us. nurses <laughs> were super into it. They were like taking bets. Like she's gonna say no. This is gonna be horrible. And then, this is way too mean. Like they even hooked me up to a heart monitor. Like they hooked, like legitimately hooked me up just to see what my heart rate was doing. And of course, you know, she walks it in. Was and awesome. It was awesome. Like, because well, they gave us the recording, <laughs> yeah. so it was like on level. And then when I walked in the room, it was like, <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. But yeah, it's cool to have. Had my family or some of my family come just sit there, you know, like it would be normally, I guess. And I set up a camera in the corner. We'll have to show you that video for sure. So we got it on film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, she walks in and it was perfect. She was all frustrated, stressed. stressed was a, yeah, that's a better word. Um, so she didn't want to look in the box because I don't know, oh, it was I... me, I guess. Um, but my sister says, said, yeah, let's, I want to see it. And so I, Pulled this bloody rag off, fake blood, um, and I had the had the ring box there, and it get on one knee, and I proposed, and she said, "I, I said, hate yes, you." But she something. had me so scared. No, she didn't say yes. She said, "You had me so scared," and then gave me a hug, which I assumed was a yes. And then I said yes. <laughs> and I then will. she said yes. <laughs> So I had me guess for a minute. He needed to stress for a minute, right? <laughs> I had to stress for like an hour and a half. <laughs> but yeah, that's how we proposed, or how I proposed, <laughs> I should say. And seven years ago today. Said yes. If you got a weak stomach, don't look at that hand. How's it going? I'm worried about you. I'm scared. Yeah. 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 What happened, dude? So, like, I was cutting the, like, this wood, and, like, it kicked back, and I got stuck on it. These things came back and went across oh. it. 
Did you feel it? Or was it kind of <laughs> yeah, like a shock? Yeah, like part of my fingers. It's gross. pictures with Cody's family. Follow the Moffitts. Guess who's taking them? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> he has to take them and be in them, but he's just that good. He can do that. I say, got a remote. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys this canyon. Sorry our windows are so dirty. This is Provo Canyon and it's just gorgeous. So pretty. We love it. But um, hope you guys like our story time. We're excited. It's kind of a new thing we're going to be doing, but hope you like it today. If you do, let us know so that we can keep doing it if you guys really enjoy it. Are we the only ones that do that? Hold our breath through the <laughs> tunnel? I want to know. We do it every time and we make a wish. Make a wish. And then we all talk about our wishes. <laughs> and then you just say what your wish was. But now the boys are getting to this age where they're like, we can't tell you our wish or it won't come true. You guys, this right here, this is a Sunday miracle. Best thing ever. Naps make them so much nicer for the rest of the day. Okay. <laughs> so we didn't vlog at all during the family pictures. And trust me, you weren't missing out on anything. That was the worst. That was Tell them what you just said. Like I'm a professional photographer and that was a circus. Like the worst. The worst. Just non-stop crying. Anytime you turn a camera on, it's like <laughs> turn on to cry. I don't know how to say that. It's just whew. We have, so Canyon is two and his little cousin Andy, um, our niece, 
she is only eight months younger than him and those two just wanted to cry the whole time. We don't know what's wrong. They're usually so happy and fun and they just cried and screamed the whole time. But, but, I'm sure we got some awesome pictures. <laughs> just say. It was good. It was really good. We're sorry, we totally, totally space vlogging. I mean, we're a newly fam, newly? A new, we're a new family. We're a new family of six. So we're still getting used to having four kids. And it was super stressful trying to make sure that everyone was presentable and clean and ready for a picture. So sorry we didn't capture any of that for you guys, but like I said, it's probably better. <laughs> probably for the best. <laughs> probably. But I think we're done for the day. Yeah, I'm just driving home. Driving home? Unless you want to watch that. <laughs> An hour of driving could be pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah, but thanks so much for watching guys and like we said before let us know if you like the Sunday story time if you like the idea if you like the feel of it because um, we have a lot of fun stories that we can share with you if you do like it so let us know in the comments below and we'll see you tomorrow say bye everyone bye. say bye, bye. <laughs> rainbow. Yeah. Rainbow.